Hi there Taurus, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your monthly intuitive love reading for July 2020. It's for my coupled Taurus watchers, those that might be in committed relationships, marriages, dating or seeing someone. What I'm going to do Taurus is shuffle these cards until the first one flips or falls. I will be then selecting three key cards for your energy how you might be feeling about the relationship or love or romance if it's a stack guys and put them back in and then we will do a reshuffle and choose three cards for your partner's energy hierophant okay commitment energy here guys could be traditional love and relating for some of you yeah beautiful earth energy here practical maybe a new offer of romance of passion let's shuffle and get your partner's energy waltz come out straight away the magician oh the fool beautiful new oh my gosh the world wow okay they are going through something big your partner i've got the moon at the bottom of the deck here very interesting okay taurus so you know what we've got you showing up in your reading like i know that's um, usually the card of Capricorn however is earth energy I feel like it's you in this reading you are showing up as a very practical grounded um, solid rock in this relationship the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is focused methodical efficient she's operating in the household looking after the children cooking the meals keeping things tidy paying the bills keep everything running and she's also probably out there working as well she's got this she's got it all and you know what there's a sense that you really are that stabilizing force in your relationship you're the one that kind of is taking that sort of um, traditional role of um, the nurturer the carer in this relationship so I feel like you are much more the kind of practical sort of person here I think there's a potential that your partner is um, maybe a lot more like sort of the quirky one if, if we want to say that um, what we see here is potentially the fact that there's going to be a new romantic offer or a new um, let's say another step in terms of um, chemistry or um, passion in your relationship after a time where it might have been more in the mundane that's just what I'm seeing there's a sense of fresh beginning energy here in the relationship now we do have the Hierophant the Hierophant for me really stands for the fact that um, there's marriage here this is a, like a, a married committed relationship um, that's what the Hierophant can stand for and the, the Hierophant can also stand for the fact that there might be um, a change in values going on here like the Hierophant often talks about the values that you've come in uh, you know into this life with or from your family or even from the relationship and potentially now wanting to walk in your own direction um, there's a sense here that I'm gonna say it guys I think it's it's your partner that really wants to connect with their rebel heart I feel like you are maybe the traditionalist in this relationship and you guys are in a traditional relationship there's nothing to worry about here but I feel like your partner might want to live a little bit more by their values I think they're a very creative person and that the cycle that they might be closing here is that cycle of going along with the traditional path as such I'm not saying they're going to end the relationship but I feel like they want some freedom to be themselves to to be you know in that full energy connecting with their real heart and that kind of thing so that's what I'm seeing here with that Hierophant energy I think there's a potential that um, you Taurus may have grown up in a more um, traditional maybe even religious um, background which obviously gives you um, a set of values that you might be following as well and I feel like your partner might be quite different from you and so there's a sense here that maybe they were kind of going along with that for a while um, they, you know they may they may believe as well but I feel like there's a sense of them wanting to break free a little bit and I think you need to be okay with that I don't feel that the relationship is coming to an end or anything like that but I feel like your partner is going through um, let's say like a rebirth like <laughs> Sometimes for some people in midlife, they call it midlife crisis, really all that means is coming back into alignment with yourself um, and like really, really fully discovering who you are and living by your own values. So that's what I see there, guys. And I feel that maybe 
you might have been initially in fear when you saw your partner kind of going through this, but I think it's going to lead to a whole new beginning for both of you and a lot more passion um, and um, chemistry and all of that in, in your in your relationship because your partner is going to be lit up. This is an interesting reading, guys. I wasn't expecting this to go here. So if we jump into your partner's energy, magician, full world, huge energy. So I think your partner's going through some really, really big shifts. They are completing a cycle in their life. Now, they could be completing, like, let's say if they've been in, you know, university or study and study for a long time, they could be completing that. That's, that's what we could call a cycle in, the, in, the, in our lives. They could be completing a job or a whole series of the same jobs and stepping into something new. Or they might just be going through their own kind of rebirth and reconnection with their rebel heart. And that's what I'm seeing because the moon energy over here tells me that um, maybe they have had to put on a different mask. Um, not just not just around you, but I feel like they're really wanting to come back to their truth, right? The moon can talk about, you know, our shadow side or our, our subconscious or things happening in the undercurrent. Your partner wants to shine bright as their theocentric self. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's going to be that fresh start for them. Um, it's okay, you, you can be the more traditional one, but they want to stand up as that. There's a sense here of wanting to um, create a new beginning, a powerful new beginning here with the magician energy. I think your partner might be stepping into their power after going through a completion in their life. So really interesting energy. And I think you are going to see all this and go, wow, it's actually better than it was. I really want to come in here and offer my partner, you know, this, this, uh, um, this, this wand of passion, this, I'm feeling more sexually connected, more um, enthusiastic, more energetic about this relationship now. So there's a sense of, you know, new manifestation after a cycle completing or after your partner going through this kind of um, awakening or coming back to themselves, reconnecting with their spirit, now wanting to live as their eccentric self. I don't know if this resonates for anyone, but that is just what I'm feeling, guys. And of course, that impacts a relationship and love if your partner is going through massive changes like that's what happens sometimes we don't grow at the same rate i feel like your partner is going through a big growth period um yeah because you might have been until now focusing on the traditional side of life like getting married maybe building a home together having children and this could be the fact that um, you're now being able to have that that time to really explore do the you know the self work to step back into your truth and i think that's what your partner is going through so that's what i'm seeing here um funny little reading guys but i just call it as i see it let's go to the romance angels we have attraction haha <laughs> You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, you are absolutely going to be feeling a greater sense of attraction for your partner. It's only positive, guys, like when we go through these shifts and changes. Obviously, sometimes our partner changes and we can, like, feel threatened by it or see it as a bad thing, um, you know, or, or think that we're going to grow apart. But I think this is going to bring you guys closer together. That's what I was trying to say. Let's get another romance angel. Taurus, please. It could be an, um, an identity crisis as well. Maybe your partner has ended. This is just sorry, more messages coming through, guys. Maybe your partner's left. Um, if they are going through a big cycle, like leaving a job or or a. Um, place of study or something like that it's, it's amazing that when we do leave those kind of things we realize how much of our identity was attached to that so your partner might be going through a bit of a um identity crisis or refinding themselves again after being in a place where they were a little bit more um controlled or having to play by a certain set of rules you know the hierophant hierophant can be the institutionalized settings the job the marriage the place of study and they're breaking free they're really discovering themselves they're finding their feet but it's only going to lead to good things for you guys all right here we go we have got stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yeah absolutely stay positive guys because this is a positive shift <laughs> 
second time out today honeymoon enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together absolutely i feel like this new kind of passion that you're going to be feeling for each other could feel like another honeymoon phase in the relationship so beautiful i mean that is really nice energy guys you can't argue with that everyone wants to get that fire back and when we embrace our partner's changes that's absolutely what can happen guys i'm gonna leave it there taurus i really wish you all the best with it um do keep in mind this is a reading for a collective it's quite specific this one if it's not your reading just leave it till next month don't make it fit feel free to leave me a comment if you're called to share i do uh, enjoy reading them all and try and respond to them all and i will see you back here for another love reading for couples next month <music>